In this example, we are asked to find the product, and we're using complex numbers again. So again, I'm going to stress the importance. Don't get scared by this I business. Just treat it as if it were an X. Uh, the only thing we have to remember is this special property here that if we get I squared, we have to remember that I squared is negative 1. Okay, so just kind of keep that in mind, and we'll be set. So let's see. We're going to distribute here. All right, 3i times 2 is 6i, and 3i times negative 9i happens to be a negative 27, and i times i gives me this i squared. Okay, so 6i minus 27i squared. Well, what did I say earlier? i squared is negative 1, so I'm going to actually circle this, and I'm going to write a negative 1. So we have a negative 27 times a negative 1, and that's positive 27, and this is a positive 6i, so plus 6i. So this is the product uh, for this very simple distribution here. And remember, it's got to be in this form, a plus bi. Now in this case, this should be very familiar if you've ever done the FOIL method. That's exactly what we're going to do right here at this point in time. So we're going to take the 6, and we're going to multiply it by 2. That's the first set of terms. That's going to be 12. And we're going to take the outside terms, 6 plus and a 7i, so we're going to get plus 42i. And the inside terms here, minus 8i and 2, that gives us negative 16i. And a negative 8i times 7i, that gives us a negative 56i uh, by multiplication. Or actually, negative 56i squared, I should correct myself. All right, and now we just recall this important fact that this right here is really negative 1. And we can also combine these terms, uh, 42 and negative 16i, that gives us 26i. So we're going to keep that in mind right there. So we end up with negative and negative, positive 56 plus 12 plus 26i. And when we clean that up, 56 plus 12 is 68 plus 26i. And so we get this as the product uh, when we do the binomial expansion for those complex numbers.